Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Calm Lands and the 200 horsepower challenge. It is February and it's snowing. Um, I woke up this morning and I was being spammed with messages about uh, there not being any more space to place eggs. So our egg spawn point is full. Now I can either put on the front loader and move those into the donut factory, but uh, I'm going to have to deal with enough pallets over here at the donut factory. I don't really want to deal with egg pallets too, because there is a solution for that. Uh, and the solution is called the automatic selling of animal products. Oh, no, that's going to be an animal's chickens. And this exists for both chickens and sheep. And uh, with sheep, of course, it'll move wool around. And with chickens, it moves eggs around. So we are going to place this as close to the chicken coop as we can get it. Make sure that our spawn point is inside the the markers of the production. And there we go. 500 bucks. Now we can go into our production settings. We can, it's usually down at the bottom. And we can turn on eggs and have them distribute. Uh, looks like those are not actually going in there yet. I'm going to get on the tractor and we're just going to kind of give them a gentle nudge. Sometimes you just have to move them a little bit and they'll pop into the production. Yeah, there they go. Well, it didn't take them all. I wonder if it's full. Yes, yes, it is. So it'll uh, distribute those over to the donut factory, but I think I have to turn the donut factory on. And I can do that. Uh, we don't have any sugar. We don't have any flour, but I do want to get the eggs over there. So we'll pay the money to move the eggs over there. And that'll work great. And we won't have to worry about our eggs stacking up and not going into the, the donut factory. Now, the next thing we need to do this morning is harvest this oat field up here. But I don't know, because I've usually got it turned off. I don't know if, um, if snow reduces your harvest yield like rain does. So we're going to try to figure that out. Let's get in the harvester. And if we get the message that we're going to get reduced yield, we'll just wait. It looks like the snow is going to let up here sometime soon. Our sugar beets are still growing, but it looks like they may not be ready until April. I don't think they're going to be ready next month. As much as I hope they would be. Yep. Harvesting while it rains reduces the yield. So, we are going to wait. We really have nothing else to do right now. Grass isn't long enough to mow. Sugar beets aren't ready to harvest. Um, yeah, so we're just going to wait until it stops snowing. All right, it's noon. The sun is shining, and we can finally get our harvest done.
got this last little piece here. We did pretty good. Just uh, about an hour and 20 minutes of game time. But I think our yield on this field is going to be significantly less than the sorghum field. So that makes me wonder. I, I may need to look at the recipe for flour. And we may want to just grow sorghum. Sorghum is a very high yield. I know barley is a high yield. We're not going to get as much straw from the sorghum. So that means less silage. But I think think we'll get more grain and more flour so we'll get more flour and more chicken feed if we just exclusively grow sorghum that's kind of boring so I'm gonna have to give that some thought but for right now we are done with the oat harvest Let's go dump this and see how much we got. All right, let's take a look at the final yield, see what we got. It's going to be up here. We got 19,699 liters of oats. We got almost 30,000 liters of, of sorghum. So, yeah, that's about a 50% increase in yield. So, if we make oat flour, our recipe is 15 to 19. If we make sorghum flour, our recipe is 15 to 16. So, we get less flour from the oats we get a positive well we get a positive on both of them we get more flour than we than we put in sorghum but only one more we get in more we get more oats we get four more oats than we put in we, i'm sorry let's try that again we get four more units of flour than we put in of oats hmm that's a tough one I'm not I'm not sure how to formulate the math problem to solve that issue. So um we get a negative yield. Well, we get an even yield if we count the pig food. And we need to not underestimate pig food. Pig food is a very odd product in this game. It uh there's not usually a place on the map to sell pig food. You can always feed it to pigs, but it can be difficult to sell. Um, if you produce it in a production like that, then yes, you can auto sell it to, I guess, the ether. I've never been able to figure that one out. There's no place on the map to buy it, but you can still auto sell it. And you'll get a really good price for it. Or the sell anything uh, always takes pig food and gives you a very good price for it. So, don't underestimate the value of pig food. In fact, I would suggest that even if you have pigs, it's more profitable to sell the pig food than it is to feed it to pigs. You can sell the pig food and then buy what you need to feed your pigs cheaper. Okay, I need to turn on... oat flour and then we need to distribute oat flour oh. flour not oat flour we'll distribute that now the only thing we don't have at the moment to make donuts is sugar and those aren't going to be ready until april so i think the thing to do at this point is perhaps to put in some of Omatana's open air gardens. I think that's going to be the best way to get our sugar moving forward. Don't know if there's, I'm going to turn on the. 
Where am I? So yeah, I'm still on our property right here. I think these are our trees right here. So, well, I can't restrict access to that. How about over here? Do we have any room on this side? Very little. I mean, we would be crammed right up against the border there. Hmm. Yeah, there's just really not enough room right there. I don't know. I don't know that we're going to be able to put in any open air gardens until we get some more property. I think we have reached our limit. I might be able to stick in a couple down here. Let's see how they fit. The wonderful thing about these is they're they're inexpensive. They um they produce really well and they're versatile. You can produce a lot of different crops, but you can also uh increase your yield by adding things like seeds and manure and the like or you can be inexpensive i'll put it that way and just use water yeah i these are going to be really awkward right here i could get two in there but that's going to be extremely awkward. Maybe if I put them long ways. What do you mean I don't have enough money? They're Yeah, and then I would still have enough money, or still have enough room to put some, um, put another shed up there. All right, I'm going to place these, and if I don't like them, I'll get rid of them. Why? Why did you raise the ground? Boy... Thank you, autosave. And I'm going to get these right up against each other. All right, how bad did you deform the ground? Okay, not too bad. And I still have room for a smallish shed up here. Alright, let's get some water in these guys. And I think they take 20,000 liters of water. Okay, so right now we're going to do this the cheap way. Oops, I'm in the wrong menu. All right, so right now we're going to do this the cheap way. And we're just going to use water. And see how much uh, sugar that actually gets us. So you see, we can do either just water here, that the recipe is just water for whatever we want to grow. And then we could do water plus seeds plus solid fertilizer, or we could do water plus seeds plus manure. 
But right now we're going to do just water. We're going to grow sugar beets. And then over here in sugar beets, we're going to distribute. We'll do the same thing down here. Sugar beets. Distribute. And now we're making donuts. We won't have any for a few hours, but we're making them. Make no mistake about that. So the next thing we need to do today is pick up that straw. So I predict that we're going to end up with a lot more straw off of this field than we did on the sorghum field. But I'm kind of disappointed in the yield. And maybe it's because I didn't lime the field. But I didn't lime the sorghum either. And Now I know all your crops don't yield the same. I understand that. But I thought it might be a little closer than that. I mean, there was about a 10,000 liter difference there. At any rate, we may make up for it with the silage. Well, that's a very odd problem. A back up. And the mountains are right. And then when I drive forward, the mountains are just dirt. And then if I get closer to it, it all comes back. Well, that is very odd behavior indeed. Just got a driver update recently from NVIDIA, so I suppose that could be the issue. I'm going to finish picking up this straw. And then I'm going to reboot everything and see if that does anything differently. I'll get back to you. All right, so I changed a couple of settings, rebooted my computer, and looks like the issue's gone. So I'm not sure what was going on. At any rate, it's no longer going on. <laughs> so we're not going to worry about it. This time, I was uh, gently reminded by a viewer that I did not lime this field before I planted sorghum in it. So this time, we're going to lime the field, we're going to plant it, and then we're going to herbicide it, and then we're going to go to sleep again. Oh, goodness. I don't know if this is textures reloading because I changed some settings. A little jerky. All right, that seems better. No, little jerks again. I don't know what it is about this game. 
I mean, I don't have the greatest computer in the world. I have a Ryzen 5 5600X and 32 gigs of memory, DDR4 memory at 3600 megahertz. And I have a, a NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti, Founders Edition. Not the greatest in the world, but certainly enough to play Farming Simulator 22. And yet, I still get lags and hesitations, and and I'm not the only one. This is a common, common issue. This game looks better, much better, than 19 did. It does not run as well as 19 did. It doesn't feel as complete as 19 did. So... You know, it's a good version. I've really enjoyed it a lot. I'm not not slamming on it because I know that this game involves so many different things. It's kind of a marvel that it even exists. However, I... It, I don't think it does as well as 19 did. We'll see. Maybe my hesitations will go away as I load in all the rest of the shaders. I'll drive around a little bit. And uh, then we're going to lime the field. I'll get back to you. We've got fertilizer in the spreader. So I think the best thing to do with it is to actually fertilize this field. This shouldn't take very long at all. There should be enough fertilizer in there. I hope there is. Because I really don't want to put more in there. The whole idea is to empty this out so I can put lime in it. So hopefully this will be just enough fertilizer.
It's gonna be close. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're we're not. We're not gonna make it. Oh, oh, oh. so close. Yeah, this spreader is gonna be frustrating at some point. So it's gonna have to get replaced. On the bright side, one 8,000 bag, 8,000 liter bag of lime covers our fields pretty much perfectly. All right, the last big job I want to do today is uh, get that field seeded. I'm going to refill this just to make sure we have enough. All right, we're all nice and full. And I think I've decided to go ahead and field this, uh, seed this field in sorghum. It just seems like the right thing to do. I haven't actually done the math on it, but it feels right, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I realized <laughs> after I was done liming this field that I probably should have put that bag of lime a little bit closer to the field. So I'll do that next time. And if you've already typed your comment on how I should have moved that bag closer, well, then I guess you were just a little too quick on the trigger now, weren't you?
All right, this is the last of it. Got a few little spots we need to clean up. It's real easy to tell when you've limed. <laughs> Stick out like a sore thumb. I know I've got a strip down the side over here. And then I've got one spot kind of right out in the middle. See if we can find that other spot. There it is. So I may have forgotten to say this at the beginning of this episode, but if you are not watching the series that the other uh, content creators are producing, I would highly recommend that you do that. There's some great content. This is such a fun challenge. I've had such a good time doing it. Um, it's really fun building things from scratch. That's my favorite kind of farming. So if you're not watching them, please do. Support those other creators. Give them a like. Subscribe. Help them out. We're all very small creators. And uh, we can use all the support we can get. And I think that does it for the work we have to do today. Just thinking about the future, uh, even though this is not a competition, I still kind of feel like I'm falling behind. I started a little bit later, but not a whole lot later than everybody else. So I feel like I'm a little bit behind. Everybody else has got another field, or I say everybody else. It's probably not everybody. But uh, many of the other creators have other fields already, uh, in addition to the first one that they bought. So uh, I think that's going to be in the works coming up very, very soon. Also, there's one other production I want to put in that we can just kind of set it and forget it. And um, that'll bring us quite a bit of money. So those two things are going to happen in the very near future. Also, uh, my pain is almost ready to begin. That field should be ready in April. So uh, it's coming soon. <laughs> spring is coming so i think that's going to do it for today if you like this video i sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription if you did not like this video please post a comment and tell me why either way thanks so much for being here i'll see you next time